All right, everybody, what's up? Jusky Rain, we're back again, and I'm going to be going into the first dig site here. I guess I'll be calling them dig sites. I don't know exactly what to call these things, dungeons, dig sites, but um, I'm pretty sure they're called dig sites because we're called di a digger, you know, in this game. So, all right, we uh, explored Apple Market in the last video, came out here, and now apparently we're supposed to save the junk shop uh, owner. So the lady in the junk shop said her husband came down here to check for parts and he never came back So man's voice help somebody Okay, so we're gonna go in and save him now uh, You see the map in the top left hand corner of the screen there this door. I wonder if we can go through yeah, we can Okay before I go through this door actually I'm gonna go back and check out the first area. Before we go through any doors or anything, I want to make sure all of our options are exhausted. There are different, like, secret items and things like that you can find in these dig sites. But, um, I'm not sure there are too many hidden ones in this first one. Oh, alright, so they spit bombs out, apparently. That's no good. Alright, nice. That's one down. Alright, nice. Man's voice, oh my. There's a hole in the wall. Is there anything inside? Let's take a look. You found a refractor shard, nice. 2600 zenny. See, there's all these secrets. Whoa! I wanna make sure I'm able to get here and not miss any. Alright, cool, he's dead. Pick up that piece of zenny. Alright, nice. I'm thinking I actually, whoa, I actually maybe wanna go in that door first. Because I keep hearing the man's voice here. <clears throat> Alright, we got some snakes. There he is, yeah. So actually, before I save him... Well, I guess I could save him, actually. I don't see a harm in it. I can always go back and explore the rest of the area. Alright, nice. Cool. So we got right to him. Um, yeah. Before I save him, let me not do anything yet. I want to see if, because in case, in case it kicks me out or something and I can't come back in. Whoa. I'm not sure if that's what happens. Come on. I'm alive. There we go. Alright, a few more of these. Nice. Alright, they're all dead. Let's see what's down here. Whoa! <laughs> A reaver bot. Nice. It's another one right here, I think. Yeah, I could kind of see him clipping through the wall. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Nice. Ow. Ow. What the heck? Come on. Damn, that thing hurts. Come on. Got him. Awesome. Whoa, there's another one.
Come on. Woo! Got him. All right. Holy crap. Treasure chest. I knew there was something in here that was going to be worth it. You found rapid fire. Awesome. Explanation. Rapid fire is a Mega Man Buster part. Attaching Buster parts allows you to power up your weapons. You can attach Buster parts by pressing the start button to go to the menu screen and selecting equip from the Buster parts menu. Nice. <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's it for this little area. Yeah, that's it, I filled in the map there, okay. Um, how about over here, nothing? Nope, okay. All right, let's equip this rapid fire. Buster parts. Uh, all right, so power razors here, I can equip rapid fire down here. So increases rapid, nice. Yeah, check it out. It's a little bit faster now. My shots are a little bit faster. Okay, cool. Well, that was definitely worth it. <clears throat> but before I save that dude, let me go check out the rest of the dungeon. See if there's any more holes in the walls or anything anywhere. Uh, hold on, let's see. Can I go this way? No, I can't go that way at all. Okay, so I have to go this way. Oh, got a snake here. Oh, that's where the man was. Alright, so this way we go. Let's go back up here. Alright, that's where I found the 2600 Zenny. And then there's something over here. Just want to make sure I check out everything. I can't get up there yet. And that's unfortunate. I'm going to have to come back here when I can jump higher. See that hole in the wall? Yeah. Later on in the game, I get like a almost like a super jump. All right, that's where I started. So here we go. I want to check out this area first. Um, and then I'll go back and save that guy. But it's almost like a super jump where I can get up there. And then this is almost like Metroid in a way because you're going to want, uh, want to return the previous areas to explore and clean up and get different items and stuff that are previously inaccessible. I think that wall I'm able to eventually blow up with a bomb or some kind of rocket or something like that if I remember correctly. Oh look at that! I can hit him through the door. Come on. Oh damn. Got him. I kind of cheesed him a little bit because I shot him through the door, but that's okay. Now there's another one up here. Oh, I can't hit him like that. Okay. Come on. Whoop. Uh oh, what happened here? Uh, wait a minute. What happened to my controller here? <laughs> wow, that was weird. I went into this random running thing I couldn't get out of. It was almost as if my controller spazzed out for a few seconds there. Alright, cool. Got some energy restored. And that's it. There's nothing else we can do here until I can jump a little bit higher. Yeah, I'm going to have to jump higher to be able to get into that door at the top. Okay, we're done. I just have to go rescue that man, and I got rapid fire. And that's it. First dig site is complete. <clears throat> all right, let's go rescue this dude. All right, all right, here I come. I guess it's time to rescue you finally. <laughs> And I did turn the game volume up just a tad bit, even more from the last time, because I thought it was still a little bit low. So hopefully it's okay for you guys now. Thanks, you saved my life. Whew! 
Thank you, uh, Mr. Blue Boy. Come by my junk shop. I'll give you something as a token of my appreciation. Well, I've had enough of this place. I'm going home. Don't worry about me. If nothing else, I'm a fast runner. I'll make it out okay. Well, I just cleared out the whole way for you. So, you should be fine, yes. <laughs> Alright, and then there's nothing else up here, right? Nope. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. This way. Alright, nice. We did it. Let me talk to Roll, see what she has to say. Hey, look at this, Mega Man. It looks like a spotter's car. I wonder if it would run if we fixed it up. Perhaps. Perhaps it would. Alright, and here's Data. Let's talk to Data and save the game. I hear you helped out the junk store owner. He says he wants to thank you. So you should stop by his store later. Alright, cool. Let's restart, recharge the energy and I'll go ahead and save. And unfortunately, that's all I have time for this morning. Um, but I will be playing, you know, maybe later on. I don't know if I'm going to be playing later on this evening again or maybe uh, not until tomorrow morning. But yeah, we're doing this uh, in small chunks. But I do promise that I'll be able to do a longer stream eventually. Maybe sometime this weekend. I'll be able to do a longer stream of this game, so cool. Alright, so we saved. I'm just gonna save one more time because I'm kind of OCD like that. <laughs> so make sure that we save the game here. Yep, cool. Alright, nice. Awesome, so in the next part, we're gonna go ahead and go into back into Apple Market, into the junk store, talk to the junk store owner now that we saved him and see what he has to give us. Thank you guys for watching so much, and this is Jusky Rain, and I will see you guys in the next Mega Man video. Take care, everybody.